Hi everyone, welcome to Grade Up. We are starting lecture series on computer networks. Actually, everyone is good in algorithm and compute and algorithm and mathematics. And computer network is a system course. So sometimes what students do that they neglect the system courses and uh, they don't do it that they don't do it properly. But that is where the rank makes the difference because. We need to cover everything, and these system subject will have also have lots of weightage. So try to do these subjects also, and don't leave anything, because everybody is good in algorithm and mathematics. What make the difference are the system subject. Give the proper time to understand them and do it properly. Okay. In this video, I will be talking about what are the topic we will be learning in computer networks. So let's see. Before that, we'll see weightage of computer networks. Why it is so important to learn the computer network? See, in GATE 2018, it comes off with seven marks. In 2017, in set one, ten marks. In set paper two, ten marks. So ten marks is very huge marks. One marks make a lot of difference, and these are the ten marks. And in 2016, nine marks in paper one and seven marks in paper two. In 2015, in paper one, six marks. Paper two, eight marks. Eight marks. Paper one, eight marks. Paper two, seven marks. In 2014, and nine marks in paper three. So actually, if you see these number, computer network always come of eight to nine marks. So average marks you can say that they are eight to nine marks, and these are huge marks. Okay, so you need to. Do it computer network very properly, and good questions come from computer network. So pay, so try to do it very properly. Okay. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Trade Up. And the book, best book for computer network is Forozen. Okay, this book is really good, and it it's. language is also very simple so once you read it you will be enjoying this book okay and uh, but the but this book is very huge so don't read the complete book because reading the complete book will take a lots of time and in final year we don't have lots of time so just read the selected topics that are important okay in this and how to do a selective selective reading you will understand you will understand when you try to read it when you try to read it for the first time you will read some pages and after reading lots of reading you will understand how to do a selective reading okay selective reading reading is very important and reading from these book is very necessary because these subject system subject are completely built on concept they are if you know the concept you can solve the problem and for the concept must always refer the standard book because they 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 not only give you the concept but they, they will try to explain everything in such a way that you can always forget if some formula you can drive it so that's why learn read this book and it's simple book okay so what is computer network what is computer network actually when two process want to communicate between each other two processes if they want to communicate between each other if they are in in the same system this is p1 and this is p2 if they are in the same system same system same host or you can say same computer then they can communicate by using operating system and it is known as inter process communication by operating system it is known as inter process communication by operating system they can communicate very easily and operating system provide everything so that they can communicate but the problem is when this is my p1 in a computer one and this is my p2 somewhere very far in computer p2 suppose this is in india and this is in usa now they want these two process want to communicate between each other now we need something so that this communication can be possible so we need hardware and software we need hardware and software 
we need hardware and software so that communication can be possible and these is known as computer network this is known as computer network computer network okay so we need hardware and software so that these communication between the two processes that that are in the different host can be make possible see this so here this is the process one this is the process two and we need hardware and software so that they can communicate without anything how they can communicate in in the same host operating system provide everything that they need required to communicate between each other but here we need hardware and software and these hardware and software known as computer network okay computer network but these hardware and software need to do need to provide some necessary function, functionality so these are the some functionality i have written they must provide these functionality so first is error control when you send some data from this process one to process two it should not be that your data is incomplete or something is missing or someone has someone just read your able to read your data so that's come under the security so this kind of should not be happen so error control is means that flow control flow control means that suppose you are sending a data to a process p2 you should always send that much data that p2 can handle if you are sending lots of data lots of data suppose you are sending 1 gb and p2 can only process at a time only process at a time 200 mb so the rest of the data will be p2 neglected simply it does not have any store space to store it so in flow control we will listen what the receiver is saying accordingly we send the data so that is the meaning of flow control and access control in access control what happens suppose you are in as we have seen lan lan in our colleges or everywhere what is happen we we all are connected to a simple network but in access control what is happening that lots of computer are connected to this and the data outside can be go through this now what is happening the access control will if suppose this one 1 and 2 3 4 now 1 1 2 send the data so one should send the data then all other should not send the data if two want to send the data then all other should not send data it is not possible that all of this can send the data through this link that's what access control access means you are taking the access of the link taking the access of the link and flow control you are controlling the flow whatever you are sending because it depend upon the receiver how much it can handle also we need to encrypt and decrypt data so that others cannot interfere in this and routing routing actually help your packet to reach to that person fastly and efficiently so that is why we need to do routings and addressing addressing you will be learning about ipv4 address and ipv6 address so they are also helpful so there are lots of functionality it is i have just write it the few functionality but there are many many functionality that we need to provide so these hardware and software are trying to provide these functionality so now we will be seeing topics what are the topics so we will be learning computer network according to layers okay because it is slightly structured way of learning things so we will be learning according to layers in layer first we will see the physical layer physical layer what it will do actually it maintain all the physical links all these kind of things handled by the physical layer data link layer we will be seeing in data link layer we have flow control methods so some of the flow control method use at data link layer and some like selective repeat is used at transport layer also so we will be learning these also error control method we will be learning how to make sure that whatever you are sending and whatever receiver is getting is same access control method we will be seeing how to get the access and in network layer in network layer we will be discussing about ip address because ip address is important that is how we identify the network we identify the host to which we need to send the packet and uh, we will be seeing the two variant of classification ip addressing classful addressing and classless addressing so we will be seeing what these are right now they are not making much sense we will be learning about supernetting and subnetting 
IPv4 and IP6 header and fragmentation. So sometime what happen? This is your computer and this is the router and this is another way another. So you you send a packet of some about like this 500 500 MB. Now what is happening that your your network can handle that much, but other network is not able to handle this much data at once so what it they will do it is actually huge you can say 500 kb now it is actually very huge so what this they will do they fragment the data your they will break your data into small small suppose 100 100 kb and then send it so this is what the fragmentation we will be learning about it we will be seeing the routing algorithm routing algorithm means how efficiently to which, which net link we should send the packet so that it will reach fast and many other things securities all these come in routings and we will be learning some protocols ARP so these are address resolution protocol RARP boot P and DNCP so these protocol we will be learning but these protocol not all of them comes under the network layer some student has misconception that DSCP is in network layer it is a transport it is actually application layer protocol boot p is also ap application layer protocol so icmp is network layer we will be seeing but we will be seeing many protocols in transport layer we will be first we see what are the functionality transport layer provide then we will be seeing tcp header and the conjunction control so conjunction control means that suppose this is your computer and this is the far very far computer and this is the network using which you are sending the data okay sometimes lots of packet come to that network and there is lots of lot of and uh, lots of data and whenever a router came a packet such that it does not have a store it discard that packet so in conjunction control we will learning that how to control these that much amount of data and how we can do it by we we send the less data when we know that network is is very high has very high traffic then we should send less amount of data when network has very less amount of traffic then we should send more amount of data so that is why and we will be learning about application layer protocol we all see this protocol at application layer and we will be learning about security so rsa algorithm and delphi hellman algorithm so these topics are, comes in gate again and again and we will be seeing these also so we see what are what are the things we are going to learn so let's start okay we will be starting computer network wait and watch them patiently